Microtik Firewall Filter Rules Input Chain. In this video, we will demonstrate how we could make use of the filter rules in our Microtik in order to block certain traffic. In particular, the kind of traffic that is going to our Microtik router itself as the intended destination. So with that in mind, we will use the input chain. So to filter traffic with Microtik as the destination. This is our Microtik and it has an IP address configured on Ether interface with 192.168.88.1. Currently, because this is configured with no default configuration, if we go to IP, firewall, and filter rules, there are no filter rules configured for this Microtik. Alright, let's test connection to our Microtik. So, IP config for this computer yields 192.168.88 at 100. And let's do a ping, continuous ping to our Microtik, see if the connection is allowed. And yes, there is a reply from our Microtik. Let's try to open via browser. So we type the IP address of our Microtik and press enter. And yes, we are able to see the login page. And if we key in the correct credentials, we are able to see the configuration page or via the web fig. Then finally, we have our Winbox and we try to connect via IP Winbox. Again, we have a distinction between IP connection on our Winbox rather than MAC address. So this time we're checking on the connection via IP. So let's click connect. And yes, we are able to see that, that we can log in via the IP on our Microtik. For our first objective, let us see how we could make use of IP firewall filter rules and to block the ping connection. So as you can see on the right, it's doing a continuous ping and should be when we have finished with our rules, there should be a disconnect. We should not be able to reach our Microtik via ping. So the ping packet is with the destination of our Microtik Ether2 IP address. So it is going to the Microtik with the destination. So we should create a firewall filter rules. Under the general, we should use the chain input. So anything that with Microtik as the destination of the packet, we should use chain input. So next, ping is using the protocol ICMP. Then finally, we go to action, which is to reject or to drop. So let's do a drop in this instance. Click apply and see the result for our ping. Okay, so we now have a drop packet and our firewall filter is in action and as you can see it has matching bytes or pockets for this firewall filter if we disable this okay so this rule is disabled and our ping should be able to come back next is the connection to our web fig and suppose we want also to try or test how we could block accessing via web fig so we will still make use of IP firewall filter rules. Let's create our second firewall filter rule. So this would still be input chain. The protocol this time, because we are using HTTP, so TCP. For the destination port, because we are accessing via HTTP, so that will be AD. Suppose we will access via HTTPS, so we will also include 443. As a side note, some browsers would make use of UDP protocol instead of TCP protocol. So we have some bytes and packets showing to this rule. So let's test and let's open again our web fig. Okay, so enter. Let's do a login, admin, microtik. Okay, so as you could see, 
we are not able to reach our webfig anymore and for our third and final objective let's see if how we could block winbox or ip winbox for this computer when accessing this microtik so block ip winbox so for your information the protocol and port number for ip winbox so we could check on our microtik so via ip services and as you could see we have the winbox with port 8291 so again before we continue don't be confused on the left side i'm connecting via mac winbox so i'm connecting via the mac address of this microtik on the right side i will attempt to connect via ip address of the microtik let's create the firewall filter rule plus sign the chain will still be input the protocol will be tcp and the destination port will be 8291 next is action action will be drop click apply and click ok as you notice there is no bytes and packets even though we are connected to winbox because again this is mac winbox so it will only match this rule if we are connected via ip winbox and this is it on the right side let's now test our firewall filter rule okay so connect to 192.168.88.1 with this credential click connect and as you could see it's connecting on the left side you'll see that there is now a matching packet and you could see the bytes also increasing and you could see a connection timeout when we try to access via IP.